Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 11 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. You can find them on my channel page. And as always, like and comment, let me know how I'm doing, and subscribe for more videos. So let's go ahead and pop into episode 11 here. We are just taking a look at our Reading Iron Train. So this is a great line that we've got established runs really fast um, however what we're going to start to see is this line is going to get slightly bogged down by some of the slower trains that we have on here so let's uh we just said that that was running at 50. let me see if i can find our passenger rail line it's got to be around here somewhere yeah here it comes so this train is going 31, which is its top speed. So if these guys are ever, if this passenger rail line ends up in front, closely in front of this line, they are going to kind of bog each other down. Now, you know, I don't necessarily think that that's the end of the world, um, but it's just something to consider. Um, it will be, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. So we're going to start this episode by trying to upgrade a couple trains. So the first one that we're going to upgrade, if we kind of come over here and we take a look at the lines that we can see, we're going to upgrade the steel train. So let's swap this out because not only does the engine have to change from the PLM to the A35, but the cars have to change as well. So let's get an A35 here, and we need flatbeds, flat cars, to move the steel, and then we want box cars to bring the tools back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to max this out uh, up to, so 235 there, and then let's take off maybe five cars and add on, let's see, we can get away with six tools cars. Can we get away... See, I think that's going to be too long. 240 on a terminus platform. Can a 240 meter terminus actually fit a 240 meter train? I don't know. Let's uh, let's go with this. So this will be 240, and we'll see if it works. I might have to get rid of one of those cars if we uh, head over here. So it's coming into the station now. So let's actually see how this works. And you can see that it, you know, it only took about half as much steel as it could. So we'll have to see if this kind of breaks the line. Nope, so that will work. Yep, 240. And now that's going to run really well. Now, again, it's going to be sharing this line with a slower train. This uh, Hodsden to Skelton, the crude train. So let's get that swapped out as well. And I think that's probably going to be all that we can afford on this line. But I'm just going to bring this up to max length, so 236. And now let's see. Yeah, that's all, that's not even carrying. It's carrying about a third of what it could, which is really good. So that's a huge train now. It's going to run really well. It's getting up to 50 miles an hour, which is great. And it should maintain that speed, I think, pretty well through this climb. This is going to be a pretty aggressive climb. Coming up this hill, it's dropped a couple miles an hour, but not too bad. If we kind of slow this down as it goes through there. Yeah, I think that's running really well. Okay. And now, as far as other trains that I would like to swap out, once we come down here to the, the Skelton whatever we want to call this, the Skelton Cargo Terminal, um, everything along here is now mainline trains. And the problem with all of this is that there are way too many trains on here to start upgrading them right now. We just don't have the money, and they're going to start to clog up these lines. Um, you know, because, like, these passenger trains, they're just not taking enough passengers to warrant A35s. And the problem is, like if we come up here and we take these trains, if we go into our locomotives here, they're currently running with the BR-53, which goes 31 miles an hour. 
Now, look at the cost, particularly the cost per year. I'm not so much concerned with the cost of the engine, but the A35 is over 600,000 compared to 120 for the BR53. The PLM is about double the BR53 at 270, and then the A35 is about double that, a little bit more actually. Um, and I just don't think that we have enough passenger capacity at this stage to warrant A35s on this passenger line. We'll certainly get to that point, but until we do, adding on really fast trains, I'm just worried that they're going to get bogged down. I mean, we could try it. Maybe we try it with these oil trains going up here to uh, Hythe. So why don't we see if we have the, the money necessary to swap out the oil trains. So if we come in here and we want to swap both of these. So these are a mix of boxcars and um, boxcars and tank cars. So let's get one of these and let's go similar to what we did. So we'll take tanker cars all the way up to 240. And you can see that this is going to cost all of our money. And now if we maybe take, let's take five of those off. So now we have five box cars and a ton of tank cars. Let's see if we can get away with six box cars. Yeah, so we have the money for it. I don't know, this might, uh, that was literally all of our money. But now if we go and find one of those trains, like here's one, coming back, and obviously it's got tons of empty capacity, but this train is going to run really well. It's going to get up to speed, and hopefully there's just not enough congestion on these really long lines for this to become a problem, but we'll see. We'll just have to take a look and uh, just make sure that they're not bogging down too, too badly. Um, now, while we're here, I noticed that the Carl Shelton to North rail line is maxed out. So let's see what we're doing for passengers here. Carl Shelton to Norton, yeah, there's 64 at Carl Shelton that want to go up to Norton, and 108 at Norton. That is way more than I thought. Kind of makes me think. It still has good performance. Now we bring that up to 78 capacity, maybe 67 capacity. So let's do that and let's see how that, how that does getting back up this hill. I think this is it right here. So it's still at 25 and I'm just curious to see if it will sit at 25 going all the way up that slope, but I think it will. The, uh, what is this, a BR, does it tell me in here? Yeah, right here. A, uh, the BR-89, really good locomotive. Um, tons of power, not a lot of speed, but that's really what we want on this type of a line with this pretty steep, long incline. We can't really afford to be losing a ton of speed. And you can see that now we have just spent all of our money. So in the last two sessions, we spent 42 and 36, so about 80 million we just spent on new trains and here comes a PLM right behind this uh, BR-89 I don't think he's gonna catch him I think he's got enough space but we'll see because all the the BR-89 just has to make it to this junction here and then they'll be okay but we'll, we'll see I don't know he's getting pretty close I think he's gonna make it though because he should make it yeah they got a whole gap in between them, I think they should be okay. Okay, so what are some of the things that we would like to get done in today's episode? So the, I guess the, the main one that I would like to get done is going to be establishing a ferry line. And this is going to take a ton of money to do because there's going to be a lot of landscaping that we're going to need to do. But essentially, at the end of the last episode, I mentioned that I didn't want to forget that we have some great passenger ships. We have the Frontenac and the Klondike. Both of these are awesome. 
we'll probably go with a Klondike, a little bit more capacity, uh, a little bit faster. But I want to establish a couple of these uh, running on this map. And I think I have a good route in mind. Um, it's going to be using this river right here. And this, I don't know if you want to call this a lake. But essentially, we're going to go from Carl Schalten. We're going to cut a canal through here. And I'm trying to procrastinate a little bit so that we can get some money. Uh, we're going to cut a canal through here. We're going to run up this river to Twickenham. And then from Twickenham, we're going to run right across this lake to Red Ruth. And we're going to do a lot of uh, terraforming in here. I'm going to try and nestle these harbors kind of in the city. And I think it's going to look really nice. So just out of curiosity, before we get that started. Okay, so this is our train coming down here right now. And he took all of the fuel. If we come up here. Yeah, he took all of the fuel, which makes me think that we need a lot more vehicles on here. So why don't we double them? Maybe even triple them. That might be crazy. Excuse me, that might be crazy. But this is a really long line. When you really think about it for trucks, that's a really long delivery that they have to make. So I'm thinking putting a ton of trucks on there will be a good thing. And you can see just all of them. This incredible line of trucks making their way out there to pick up crude oil. And that's going to be really good. But let's see. So we have this train ripping down the main line, quickly catching our food train. See, this is... This is exactly the issue that I was worried about. Because now he's just going to be ping-ponging back and forth, trying to catch this fuel train. And interestingly, we're getting another issue, which is a backup at this block. This bridge here. So that's going to be something that we're going to have to take a look at. Just because it's such a significant block. Um... I might bring the merge further up this hill. So let's grab a track here. And let's grab the merge right before this bridge. We'll bring it to like right there. And now I'll get a one-way signal here, but I'm gonna let this run just so that he gets off of this track before I put the one-way signal coming back. So now I'll go ahead and put that in. And we could probably fit another one in the middle here. So that's just gonna kind of shrink that block a little bit. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Pull this out. I'll go ahead and delete that track. And then I will connect those up. And then we'll put a signal here and here. Just to allow these trains to get themselves off of this junction here. Now my question is, is this going to be long enough? Like if he had to sit here. No, see, he would block the entire thing. Uh, something makes me think that that's going to be an issue in the future, but we'll just have to see. I don't know, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Anyway, back to what we were planning previously. I just like to see these trains come into these junctions. So you can see there's not enough tools here either. means we need more delivery up here see I could do this all day I could just come in here and mess with these tools or mess with you know tweaking things I'm sure all of you in the comments are saying just learn line rates it's not my style I like to just 
I like to just kind of make things happen as I go. All right. Let's come in here to Carl Shelton. And let's get our first uh, little harbor set up. So I'm going to grab probably this terrain level. Just clear out like right to there. And now let's come in here with a harbor. Let's see. If I put it in... Let's put it in there. And I'm going to clear that out a little bit so that we can get a large landing on here. Just like that. Okay. And now let's grab this terrain and let's kind of clean this back up. And then we'll come in here and just kind of smooth out these edges here. Okay. So now we need to get a road in here. So let's get a... Let's get a little road. Like that. And then we will connect this road in here. And then I would love to connect this road here. And let's just carry that on, give them some place that they could build. I might even help them out a little bit. Just connect that into there. Now we're going to get a bus station right here. Let's get another one here. I'm going to move this one just to the other side of that road. Get one here. They'll stop at the train. And then maybe here. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay, and now I'm going to get rid of these stops. We're going to come in here. So this is our counterclockwise. So this one wanted to go from school to Queens Road. So let's get rid of both of these stops. Let's have them come up here. So that will be this line. And then we'll take this one. This one wants to go in the opposite direction. So this one will come up here. And loop around like that. Nope, don't stop at Queens Road. Stop there, Mill Road. Perfect. So that's going to be our passenger line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do trams. Carshalton is a pretty good sized city. I think we could afford to get trams into here. So let's go ahead and do that because I love trams. I think they look awesome. And now let's come in here and get a tram depot. And this is kind of our industrial area of town. So maybe we could squeeze it in like right here. Like that. And now all we're going to have to do is connect that up with trams. And now if I come onto these lines, so we have four buses on each of these lines. So we will sell all of those vehicles. Oh, quick autosave. And now I will come into here and we will get these uh, CE22. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's a two axle streetcar from the hometown of the game. Uh, Schaffhausen. Excuse me, Schaffhausen in Switzerland. So why don't we get three on each? Because these are a much higher capacity than the buses that we had on there. So these will go in the counterclockwise and these will go in the clockwise. And then out come these awesome trams. And we're just waiting for those bus stops to go away. And you can see that all of those people just came down here. And a tram went right by them. But these can hold 21 and I believe they go 25 miles an hour. So let's compare them to our we had these Landauers, 12 miles an hour, six capacity. And then if we come into our tram depot, 25 miles an hour, 21 capacity. So these are far superior. Um, so hopefully those work nicely. And now we got a nice little tram network coming through here. And now we're actually going to come into here and I need to fix this. So let's make this trams. 
and we'll call it tram to train slash ferry. So tram to train slash ferry. And then I just like to change this denomination here so that we know what these are. Okay. So now we're getting some good, good passenger numbers on there. So now let's come back into our terrain view for a moment. We're going to grab a nice wide brush and I'm just going to drag this through here like that. And now do I want to leave sharp edges here? I kind of do because it's, it's an unnatural cut through here. So I'm going to kind of clean up some of the assets along the edge here, and then I'll have to figure out how I want to decorate that. Um, but my guess is that we're going to need waypoints through here. So let's add maybe three like that, going that way, just because I hate it when these lines cross over one another. And then we'll add those coming this way. And then let's add some here, like that. And now we're gonna need to rework two bridges, this bridge and this bridge. They are both too low. So let's come through here and do that. We just severed a mainline connection, that is okay. We will reestablish it in a minute. So let's kind of go right where it was. So I'll just punch that through there. Keeping it nice and flat. We've got two channels through there. That's perfect. And now we can connect this up. I will make this land. And we'll do the same thing here. Okay, so now that is established. We're going to need waypoints here. So let's spin these around. We'll get one there. And one there. So that will allow them to go through. I don't know if they're gonna cross in the middle. We'll see. And now we need to do the same thing here. So let's bring this way back. We'll bring both of those back. And now if I bring this up, yeah, so it needs to go higher. So I'll bring it up even higher. And similarly, I would love to have two fairly centered channels through here. So like that would be one. Trying to get this bridge nice and level. So let's add that one in. So now we have, let's just get this nice and flat. So now we have two solid channels through there. And now I can connect this road up, make that fill. And I think I'm gonna connect this road up here because this is actually the priority. Now, interestingly, that doesn't want to connect there. It's saying that there's a collision. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this bridge out a little bit further. bring it out to maybe there and now if I grab this let's pull this road out even further and now we could have a nice gradual slope up there and now we can connect this road up as well so I'll just kind of bring this down here to 
a point where we can have a nice 90 degree join in there. And now we've got bridges that do not conflict with our ferries. So now I can go ahead and add these waypoints back in. Or not back in, I can add them in to start. Okay, and now this ferry I'm envisioning is going to be right in here. So similarly, we will come in here. Let's dig out a little area for it. Now I kind of want to line it up with this road. So maybe like there? How does that look? If we get a road in here. So if I get this road in here, connect that up there. How's the slope on that? Not bad. Not bad at all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually, yeah, I'm just going to leave that like that. Now I should be able to connect this road in nicely at like a 90. And now Twickenham is going to need a little bus circulator. So let's get that going. I'm going to pull this road out a little bit. And then bring that in at a 90. So now I'm thinking we'll have a bus stop here, up here. Yeah, I think that's going to work. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put a an actual interchange here. Because this is going to be where the uh, bus from Twickenham to Hythe is going to go. So we'll just go like that. And now I'm just going to connect this up. I know this isn't a one-way, but I'm just going to connect this up like that. I'll be right back. Excuse me. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I uh, I don't know if you made it to the end of the last episode, but I actually just had a wonderful baby. And, uh, you know, occasionally you got to go help them out. So... We are back. We're just adding in bus stops. So let's add in, let's see, a circulator there. Probably actually come back and hit this stop. Although I would love to have a stop here. So why don't I add that in there and maybe bump this here? I know we just broke a line. It's this stop. So Victoria Road, go away up here although I would don't want you to do that so they're gonna come into town let's see a Twickenham exchange they're gonna use platform three so I would love for them to come in this way so we're gonna need a waypoint here so I'll just put this one in here and after Hive yeah just like that okay so that's gonna be our Twickenham exchange we can go ahead and let this run because we're going to need the money. Um, let's get some lines set up for Twickenham. So the first one, we'll do the counterclockwise first. So this is going to be the first one. Let's make this a dark blue or a mild blue. And this will be... Twickenham, bus to ferry, counterclockwise. Now if we add a new line, we'll go the opposite way. And now it'll come in here. Make this that same blue color. Let's see, was it that one? And this will be Twickenham, bus to ferry, clockwise. All right, and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. All right, and an hour later, we are back. An hour later for me, not for you. Um, okay, so where were we? We were just establishing some bus lines. Right, Twickenham, perfect. 
Okay, so let's get some buses on here. We're not going to go with trams in Twickenham. It's not quite big enough. So let's get maybe two, I think. Maybe three. You can kind of afford it. So let's get three. And then uh, three on each. Perfect. Okay, so we can kind of let this run now. Because we need to do... A little bit more terraforming. So let's kind of clean this up because we're going to get our passenger landing in here. And then I think I'll get rid of the small one. I don't know. If, if we need small ones going forward, we can always come back and add them back in. I just don't think we'll need them. At least right now. Not right now. I'll kind of smooth that out, smooth that out. And then I like to actually come into our terrain here. Just make sure that there's nothing under the water that looks kind of janky, totally unnecessary. Um, just kind of a personal preference. Cause when you go into the line view, you can actually see it. Um, again, completely unnecessary. I just like to do it. Okay, so Twickenham is established with some buses. Redruth now. Now, Redruths, this is going to require a lot of terraforming. So let's speed this up so that we can start to get some money in here. Let's back out some of these roads. Because I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put the harbor like right here. So let's grab maybe this height. We'll bring it like all the way into here. So now I'll bring this out. And just like that, I spent all of our money, but we just got a huge payday. Because we do have some trains that deliver pretty monster numbers um, when they do make a delivery. So let's kind of spin this around. I'm gonna get it in right there. And now I think we're gonna have to come a little bit wider here. So let's get this large landing in. So we're going to need to go even wider. Let's just bring that out like that. Now we can get our large landing on there. Now we can kind of flatten out a little space here. And the way that I think I'm going to do this, I think I'm going to cut it kind of in like that. So that'll be our cut through there. And now we just need to smooth out some of these. Some of these ridges. Under the water. Make it look nice. Okay. So now that looks nice. Um, this is not looking so nice. So I think I might just smooth it out. smooth out that area there around the harbor. Okay, so let's get a road in here. So I'll put this road in like that. Bring it straight over here. And then curve it up in there. And I think this road is actually going to curve kind of around here. Continue straight a little bit. This road's going to curve down into here. It's not too steep, so I'm okay with that. And I love this. They're already starting to develop. But now we want to come in here and just kind of smooth out some of this some of this ground around here just to make sure it looks like it belongs, which I think it does. And now Red Ruth is going to need a little bus circulator. So let's get one in. So I'm just going to extend that a little bring this in at a 90. So we'll have a stop here, stop in here. Maybe we'll punch a single road through there. So we'll have a stop here, stop here. Yeah, so let's get this going. So we'll put a uh, set of bus stops here. 
we will put a set of stops. Kind of want one here, but maybe not. We'll put a set here, set here, here, and here. So that's going to be our circulator. So let's get that set up. So they'll run around like this. Uh, we can make it a blue color. So this will be a bus route, and this will be Red Ruth, bus to ferry, and this is going clockwise. And now this will be counterclockwise. Make it that same blue color. And now if we come onto the counterclockwise, we can just have it run on that same route, just counter. Okay, and now we need a depot. So this is kind of our industrial area over here. So why don't we get a depot in, maybe right about there. And let's get maybe two on each. So these will go on the counterclockwise and these will go on the clockwise. Perfect. And now this has decent catchment, but I'm really relying on those buses to get us set up. So let's get this line set up. So the first thing we're gonna do, make it a new line. We're gonna come from Carl Shelton. We're gonna go through these waypoints. Into Twickenham. And then over to Red Ruth. Back to Twickenham. And then we're going to hit these waypoints on the way back. Yes, yeah, so we got some crossing in there that we're going to have to deal with. Okay, so no more crossing. Uh, we do have some crossing. So it looks like we need a set there and there. So let's get those in. So let's add them like that and then I think it was like here yep so like right about here just like that so now let's get those added on so after waypoint nine hit those and then on the way back after waypoint 12 Come through these okay so now we need another set here and then where was the other cross the other cross was right about here so we can get those in okay so now after 11 Go here and here. And then on the way back after three, go here and here. Okay, so we got another cross. So let's see if I can get away with fixing this with just one set. Might be able to. So let's see, after five. And then after seven. Nope, messed that up. After Twickenham seven. There we go. Okay, so no crossing anywhere in here. That's good. Um, I think I did see, nope, so this is fine. This is gonna run perfectly fine. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get some ships on there. Now, I don't know where I'm gonna put the depot. I think I'll put it in like right about here. So let's kind of add that in like right here. We can add a road in behind it. like 
that so that they can actually get to it. Doesn't, uh, totally unnecessary. I just like it for continuity. Now we can fix that land underneath. And now we can go ahead and get a ship on here. I think we will get a Klondike. And we're going to make this route a dark red. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is going to be our first ferry route. And this is Carl Shelton to Red Ruth. Let's make it that dark red color. And then I want them to wait for a full load, let's say for 90 seconds at each of these stops. So full load for 90. Wish there was a way to like copy and paste my stop criteria, my load criteria, but I don't, I don't think there is. So 90 seconds at each of these stops. And uh, I think this is gonna work pretty well. Now, I'm kind of wondering if we should get a couple more buses down here at Red Ruth. Kind of thinking we are, we should. I just realized that these aren't the same color. So let's go ahead and fix that. And let's get a third bus on both of these lines. Just to move more people down here. I think that that'll be good. I also just realized that there's a little bit of land showing through there. So we'll just go ahead and clean that up. And we should start to see some passengers getting onto this ferry line. But uh, I don't know, we'll just, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see how it does. Okay. So while that gets going, let's think about some of the other stuff that we want to get done in this playthrough. One is I would love to start getting fuel delivered to Osset. And now there are a pair of fuel refineries over here. This one is already delivering to technically three places, um, but it's being offset by this delivery over here, which is Technically, technically, they're both delivering to Hive and Skelton. So I think it kind of evens itself out. Uh, just realized we need more vehicles on this iron train. So let's go ahead and get maybe six more. Bring that up to uh, a little bit higher production, just so that iron just keeps flowing. Anyway, so needless to say, I don't want to use the fuel that's already here. What I would like to do is activate this refinery. Uh, which uses oil sand to produce fuel and sand. Now, we'll do something with the sand later, but for now, I think we can start to get some oil sand from right down here. And I think we can use trucks to do it. So with that being said, we're going to need to punch through this mountain and then work our way down here if we go into our terrain. This is significantly lower. So if we look right here where my mouse cursor is, this is at 24 meters and this is at 111. So we essentially have to climb from down here 90 meters until we get up here. So with that being said, let's stick to our terrain view and we will start the climb. So let's, uh, I'm just gonna put kind of a, a marker road right there, just so that we can kind of work our way down here um, at a, reasonable at a reasonable pace so 24 up to 48 let's see how that looks might be too steep it's a little steep so let's back this out and I'm gonna bring this marker road a little bit lower right to about there now if we take this down a little bit more, down to about there. Now when I make my curve, maybe to like there, should be able to get a much better, yeah, that's much better. Okay, so now we got this road in and now we can start climb, just being conscious of our slopes, 
because I don't want to bog these trucks down too much by climbing too quickly. Let's bring them around here. Can I have a nice straight portion of the climb? Straight-ish. Up to here. And now at what level do I want to punch through here? So this is at 100 meters. So I think this green, where it changes from white to green, is where we want to get to. And I would love to do it without... So that's still, that's a little steep. Ooh, actually, I really like that little tunnel through there. I think that that would look really nice. Okay, so that that is where I get the tunnel. And it's still a pretty nice climb. So let's put that in there. And now let's get our tunnel through here. Now, I really want this tunnel to be flat or straight, rather. So let's get this nice and level and let's kind of aim where we want to go I'm thinking if we punch through like that that would be good so obviously this is climbing which is not what I want so let's see this is at 109 meters and this entrance is at 105. So now if we come over here, this is at 107. This is at 105, that is pretty flat. It is kind of digging out here a little bit, which I don't love. But if I just kind of back it out a little bit, I think we can make it work. Let me just see how straight that is. Pretty straight. Let's move it a little bit to the left. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and put that in. And now we will punch this road straight through here. Man, that actually lines up really nicely. And it's just going to climb gradually up to there. So now we can get out of that view. And now that's going to work. So this is going to need two platforms for this to work. And I think that the way that we're going to do it is I'm going to put this in here. We will make this a little bit longer. I'm going to add a building just for mainly the aesthetic. I don't really think that this is going to overload too much. Now we can come in here and connect this up. And now we have a platform here. We need a platform down here. So let's get a building with just one platform. Let's kind of spin it around a little bit. Get it in here. And I can fit a building right there on the road. I think that that looks nice. And now let's just come through here with a little bit bigger brush. Just kind of smooth out all around this industry. I'm not going to smooth that up here because I'm going to decorate that to make that look nice. But now we have a platform in here for the oil sand. It's going to bring it up here to the refinery. And then it's going to come down here to this rail station. Now, I'm going to back this road out because I really want to make this connection and then I'm going to reestablish this connection here just for continuity's sake and now we're going to come in here with a single platform on the other side I'm going to kind of sandwich this in right here Then I'm going to put a building in there just because I think it kind of ties it into the station. 
makes it all look like it's one thing. I think that looks really good. Okay, so now let's get some lines established. First line. This is going to be Tenerden Oil Sand. We're going to have them wait for a full load forever before they come up here. Tenerden Oil Sand. We're going to make this the darkest orange that we can. Nice brown color. And then this one is going to be our fuel line. Let's make it a little bit darker just so it contrasts nicely. And I want them to wait for a full load at Tenerden Central before they come up to the station. Now this is going to be Tenerden Fuel Truck Line. Um, and now we need to get some trucks on here. So let's come into this depot, because we got one right here. Let's get cargo. I think I'm going to go ahead and put 30 onto the oil sand line. And that might sound ridiculous, but it's a really long line, and I really want to get enough um, oil sand moved up here. And now we're going to get eight onto this line, and hopefully they have enough space to queue, because I don't want them to completely block the oil sand drop-off. That's the only thing that I'm mildly concerned about. Just kind of smooth this out a little bit. Again, not this. I'm going to decorate all this. I think I'm going to make it look quite nice. I love this little bridge here, or this little tunnel. It's completely unnecessary, uh, but maybe we can make it look necessary with a little uh, decoration. And I think that that'll look nice. Now, the next part of this project is going to have to wait until the next episode, and you can see just monster numbers of trucks. The next part of the project is the line that is delivering fuel up to Ferry Hill is also going to deliver excess fuel that will then be taken from Ferry Hill over to Osset via rail line. So what we're going to have to do is come into here. I need to add on a couple platforms here. So let's back this out a little ways so that we can get a nice curve in. We're going to come in here. We're going to add on two more platforms. And then a couple more tracks. Now if I grab this track and connect that up there, that will work. Now all I need to do is switch the Ferry Hill platform to there, and now the whole thing should work. And this train, I don't know if he's stuck. Let's kind of flip him around. There we go. So now he's running again. We're going to have to get a bigger train on there uh, to move the excess fuel. And let's just come down here and make sure that we don't have too many vehicles here. Two, four, six, seven. Is there another vehicle? I thought I had eight on there. Did I count wrong? Two, four, six. I wonder if they're sitting on top of each other. Somehow. I don't know. All I know is that it's not going to clog it up, so I think we're good. And we're starting to get a ton of oil sand here, which is perfect. Let's go back over to Hive to check to see how we're doing on oil. So we've got a ton of trucks on here now. We could probably even get more. Let's get like six more. Um just to make sure that we're getting enough oil up there, because what's the capacity on these trains? 171. You can see that this is catching our passenger rail line. Yeah, this is what I was, this is what I was talking about uh, as far as performance. And this is actually losing us money now, which stinks. And I think it's just because it's not moving enough cargo. Although this has a full load of crude, so this should get paid really well. Let's see how much money this makes when it drops off. Yeah, five, five million. So when it when it gets paid, it gets paid very well. 
and now it should be coming back not quite with a full load of tools. Uh, and it's because this is not getting enough lumber. So let's get some more trucks on here. Maybe eight more. And now can I really afford... Can I fit more trucks on here to move the logs? Maybe. Get maybe six more on there to move the lumber. Because there's a pretty decent amount of lumber here. So I think we can definitely fit more lumber trucks. Um, we'll just have to see. So now the question is, where did that other train go? Oh, he's in here right now. So how much did this get paid? Yeah, see, not nearly as much, just because he didn't move nearly as much oil. Now, this train should be getting paid pretty well, because I imagine he is always running with a full load. Yeah, look at that. Nine million per delivery. That is enormous. Absolutely enormous. All right, let's go check on our ferry route. We'll start down here at Carl Shelton. Okay, three passengers wanting to go up to Twickenham and Red Ruth. What about Twickenham? All right, 20 that want to go back to Carl Shelton, three that want to go up to Red Ruth. Uh, this is coming back with 41. That's pretty good. There's only four on here, so not bad. Uh, really good numbers between Twickenham and Red Ruth. Um, not super great on the... I mean, I guess there's 20 at Twickenham that want to go back to Carshalton. So not bad. It's honestly, it's running better than probably any ferry line that I've ever put in in the past. So I guess that's a good thing. And our buses here seem to be handling the passengers fairly well. Um, similar situation at Twickenham. I just want to check this line. Yeah, just to make sure we had the faster... Vehicles on there going between Hythe and Twickenham. We do. And we're starting to get... We got a pretty good amount of crude coming in, but not enough. Just not enough. So I'm going to come into here. And I'm going to add maybe... Eight more. Bring that up to 50 vehicles. Because I see we have a huge cluster down here, so I'm trying to get a little bit more down at this end. Just kind of balance it out. So that should work. That should work pretty well. Karsh out in the hive. Great numbers for that passenger train. Uh, the Norton train, he left passengers on that station. There's 51 down here. I think his capacity is only in the 60s. Yeah, 67. Not bad, though. This passenger line is running really well. And this train's coming back with... Almost no tools, which is disappointing. Uh, these are actually right on top of each other. Which is going to mean that the fuel numbers are just going to struggle. So let's see, this will load up with a full load, and now there's only 40 on that platform to go back. Interesting. And I kind of see an issue here at Hythe, which is by having it wait for a full load. I don't know. Luckily, we got tons of trucks coming down here to get more, f to drop off more fuel, but it's not going to matter because this train's going to get out of here. I'm just going to stop it real quick. Give it some time. Mainly just to space these out a little bit. Where did this train? I'll wait until he gets to this block right here and then start him up. That way they're kind of more on opposite ends of the line and that should help them function just a little bit better. Oh, that's actually the wrong train. Is this our train? Yeah, this is our train. Maybe we'll wait for him to get to the Car Shelton station before we send him off. See how this is doing. This is doing really well. Making 
on each drop off. That's pretty good. Okay. And once I get this started up, that is going to bring us to the end of this episode. Um, sorry if the, uh, the interruptions were distracting, you know, love my new baby, but got to go take care of him when he, uh, gets upset. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this playthrough. Oh man, I screwed this train up. Now he's going to head back with his tools. Let's see if I spin him around. Will he head back in? Yeah, he will. Okay. So we kind of got that working now a little bit better. Let's see if he drops off his tools. Yeah, not much. But he's going to wait. He's going to pick up as much fuel as he can. He got 134. That's pretty good. Not quite a full load, but it's definitely better. Okay, and we just got some new buses. So hopefully I remember to use the new buses in the next episode. But if I don't, somebody please remind me in the comments. Um, speaking of which, if you made it this far in the video, definitely consider leaving a like and a comment. It really makes my day. Um, while I talk, I'm just going to fix this road that I must not have ever reconnected. So I'll just get that in there. And then we'll just curve this down here. Connect that up. Um, the comments really make my day. Uh, I love getting them. I try and respond to as many of them as I can. Um, and as quickly as I can. And if you made it this far in the video and you enjoyed the content, definitely consider uh, subscribing for more videos. Again, trying to get them out as fast as I can, as regularly as I can. Um, I know it's been a little bit intermittent, um, but you know, with a baby coming along, things come up and uh, you know, trying to get back on schedule. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, bye.